so before I begin today's lesson on particle motion, I'll be explaining what integrals are. And my mirror is ugly, but that's okay. It does the job. So if we have a graph here, we can take the integral from here to, let's just call this zero, and let's just call this five for simplicity. Yeah. So we want to take the area from here to here. And like this should be a dotted line really because this can go on but we just want to take the area here which would then be if we were to then name this graph f of x the integral from well like if we wanted to find the area under the curve for this it would be the integral from 0 to 5 of f of x with respect to x <clears throat> so yeah that's pretty simple and i'm not going to go into any um like hard more complicated um calculus concepts for this it's just going to be area under the curve so today i'm going to be talking about particle motion um and i don't really have a whiteboard so we're using my mirror so yay but so let's just say we have a graph right here, and this is position versus time. Um, and this equation is just gonna be st, and that's gonna go on for the whole video. So position versus time, let's just say we have a graph like this. And then if we just look at this line right here, that's just, let's just say this is b, and this is origin, so. <laughs> So this is the origin, this is b. So the total displacement right here is just b minus zero. So that's total displacement. And then <clears throat> if we wanted to calculate the final position, that'd also just be b minus zero because that's just how much is traveled. Now let's say we have something like this. So the order is still at zero, but we begin at point A. So now the total displacement, I'll, I'll just write it like V. <laughs> so total displacement now is B minus A. But now the final position, if you want to calculate it, is B minus A plus A. Because think about it like this. This is the total displacement traveled here. And then this is the beginning position. So you have to, yeah, you have to calculate that. Now, I wanted to talk about a graph. Oh, also total displacement for here, for like these two examples, they were just, they were just like the same as displacement in general. But now we're gonna be talking about something that's not just total, not total displacement equals general displacement. So this, these are gonna be examples that aren't like that now. So we, uh, we still have A and B. <laughs> so if we did like here, 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 now the total display. Now I'm gonna add a category called displacement. So displacement right here, it would just be, it starts at the origin and it goes to A. So the displacement would just be A minus zero because it's final position. <clears throat> That's how much it traveled overall. But if you were to calculate the total displacement, you would go through, you would add this, 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 and this. So it would be zero to B, I'll just fix this. So it would be, B minus zero plus B minus A. Okay, I should just say A minus B because this is absolute value. So A minus B plus, and I'll just do that right here. Then plus <clears throat> B minus A plus A minus B again. 
put that about the absolute value because all this is absolute value because we're calculating the just the lengths of this and adding them up so that would be the total displacement and then the final position here you'd have to take the um, beginning position and then you'd have to add that to the total dis or like add that to the um, displacement so if you were to get the final position it would be just um, a minus zero minus zero so that would just be <clears throat> right there as it says now if we were to move on to uh, not just if we were to try to calculate displacement and position from a velocity graph now we're going to be I'm just going to put this over here and then oh that's position <laughs> my bad so that's position and that's velocity and I'll just add acceleration <clears throat> as an equation here too. I don't even know if I spelled that right, but it's okay. So this, I'm just gonna say this is BT, go to you. Um, <clears throat> so now if we were to have origin here, and this was the time, and this was any velocity, now we can't just take B minus zero as our displacement because that's just change in velocity. Now we have to take the area under, which would also be okay. So this would be so since this is a triangle, it would be b minus zero over um yeah, it'd be b minus zero um times I'll call this time t one times t one over two. This is a right triangle, so this would be displacement. Yeah, so that's pretty simple. This would also just be the integral of v t <clears throat> from time t one to zero. It's a function of t. So this is the same thing as this, but this isn't always what it's going to be. If we move on to our next example, I don't like this. If we have this, and we're going to calculate dis the displacement here, we have to take the area, since this is the area, all of this, but this is an absolute value, yeah, because we're just calculating displacement. So displacement, you would take the area of this, the area of this, and the area of this all add together. I'm not gonna add many variables for this because that's gonna take a lot of writing, but <clears throat> basically you wanna take the integral from t1 to zero of vt, and then that would be your displacement. <clears throat> But if you wanted to calculate total displacement, you'd want to take the absolute value of that. So you want to take t1, 0, v, t, d, t. And basically, <clears throat> that's just like, instead of making this negative, because this would be a negative value right here, you would, you would take that, but then you would add it to the other ones because you're taking the absolute value and total displacement is just like how much you travel in general. Like if you had a graph right here that was like a particle traveling from here, 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 this would be the final position. But you wanna calculate how far it takes or like how long the path is to get there. Now, let's say there's a runner named Miss Rohinen and she likes running around this good old park right here. So let's just say her position over time is this. Pretend that goes to zero at the top. 
So then her velocity graph would be like this because it starts off more positive and then as it as she time goes on her velocity approaches zero but so the slope of this line eventually goes to zero right here and then her acceleration graph would be actually it would be negative <laughs> because as you can see here the slope of this velocity graph is negative so her velocity is decreasing so her acceleration is negative <clears throat> and you can see here that the graph is concave down so it's not it's pointed down which means that the acceleration will be negative because that would be the second derivative of the position but we don't really need to talk about that. So in order to calculate final position, if you were only given this graph, the velocity graph right here, you would take the starting position, which in this case is just zero. So zero, but like we weren't, we aren't given this. So we'd have to be given a point like um, S of zero equals zero. So then we just take that right there and then plug it in. So final position would be zero plus integral of velocity over time at whatever time you say. So let's just say this is a right here. So time a from time zero to time a, we take that and that's the final position right there. And then, yeah.